This video will show you how to derive the matrix that reflects a vector in a straight line. First, let's draw the problem. We want to reflect the point P in the line Y equals to MX. I will call the reflected point P prime. Let's suppose P is at coordinates x1, y1, and the reflected point is at x2, y2. We may approach this geometrically. Intuitively, if we draw a straight green line connecting P and P prime, then it would be perpendicular to the pink line and both points would be equidistant from the pink line. So, if we work out the distance between P and the intercept then we can find the location of P prime. I will start by working out the equation of the green line. We can use the standard equation y minus y1 equals gradient times x minus x1. Gradient of green line is change in y divided by change in x, namely y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Notice that the gradient of the green line is also the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the pink line because they are perpendicular. So we can write the gradient as negative 1 divided by m, as worked out below. Now we have the equation of the green line, we can work out the point of intersection between pink line and green line, by setting the y value equal to the equation of the pink line mx plus c, and then solve for x to find the x-coordinate of the intercept. We can now reverse the difference between x1 and intercept to work out x2. Now we use a similar approach on y. We find the y-coordinates of the intercept by substituting in the x-coordinate of the intercept. Then, use the reverse difference method to find y2. Finally we simplify our results for y2 and x2. These will give the coordinates of the reflected point. In the next video I will convert these two equations into a matrix transformation. But before that, let us do two tests on our formulae to see if they work.